Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Right off the bat, I want to go ahead and give a big old shout out to my Libras out there. We are officially in Libra season here in Western astrology. So ha very, very happy birthday to the Libras out there. I also want to go in and slip in a little uh, early little happy birthday to the uh, October Scorpios. Yes, happy birthday to you guys. We will be entering your season next. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that because these are general readings, the situations can go either or, okay? It can go either way. Now, I am specifically speaking to the zodiac sign in question, so mostly the message is going to be for them. But if you are cross-watcher, say, for example, or you are what you are you do have the sign that the, that is in question in the reading that you're watching and yet the story that i'm telling is flipped is vice versa then go ahead and flip it for yourself okay place it as it fits into your life but please be very careful not to place things or try and force things that don't fit into your story or your situation into the into positions because that's just going to confuse you and throw you off okay so another thing that i want to mention um uh, oh, first, actually, what I want to mention is I'm doing a little bit something a little bit differently this month. Um, I had been using the Sacred Rebels Oracle for a few months, which was doing great. But because we're now in fall and it's October, I wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, and I got the brilliant inspiration to use the Fairy Forest Oracle deck this month. And I'm really super excited for you guys to see what comes out. Because in some of these readings, they're all pre-recorded um, before I record this this intro but uh for some of these readings the oracle guidance that comes out from this deck is so spot on it's a little scary <laughs> okay um also the other thing that i want to mention especially for those of you that are new if you are new to the channel what's up thank you so much for tuning in welcome to the family but here at divine conversations we do not focus on love yes sometimes love will come out uh if necessary and I, and in no way am I trying to stop that from happening. But the general focus or the main focus here on Divine Conversations is to focus on bringing yourself into a sense of union with yourself, bringing to yourself into a sense of wholeness with yourself, and also just having a conversation with spirit, all right? So what's coming through in these messages for the monthlies, even for the dailies, if you check out Morning Coffee, the messages that come through are just a conversation. What does spirit have for you at that time what does spirit want you to know for that time period or that cycle in your life that you're going through all right with that said keep in mind that all of these readings are timeless yes so just because this is dated for the month of october it doesn't mean it has to resonate for you in october you could come across this reading in february of 2020 and beyond and it may still resonate for you okay time is an illusion and energies are fluid all right so just take it as it resonates if it resonates for you at that time then take it if it doesn't don't worry about it come back later maybe it will all right, guys. <sighs> so with that said, I think let's just get straight to it. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get straight into it with your uh, pre-shuffle energy. So the first card that came out here was the Three of Swords. Ooh. Okay. But honestly, what I'm feeling with this Three of Swords energy, Taurus, for you is the fact that you're getting over some sort of heartbreak. This feels like it's from the past and it could be a plethora of things. I don't I, what I'm feeling here is and maybe this is just because I'm channeling for a collective. Uh, but honestly, it, 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 it feels more like for those of you that I'm channeling for right now, there are a number of things that you found heartbreaking over your life duh i mean that's existence right whatever um that you're that you're moving away from that you're releasing yourself from that you're 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 done with it's more than just now this could be a love relationship don't get me wrong we could be talking about uh, heartbreak and love whatnot whatever but there's a lot of it and also this could be someone connected to you okay um but there's a lot of it going on there's a lot of it that you're, I, I want to say, keeping at bay. You might really be all up in your feels right now, Taurus, because it's interesting. We do have the King of Cups here, but even while I was, um, I, I was, uh, you know, shuffling and starting to channel the energies for you, Taurus, this King of Cups came out, and I heard Taurus is all up in their feelings. Ooh, okay. Now, the Taurin that's all up in their feelings is probably not the best 
thing or the the, the most the best person to be around <laughs> and there we have the queen of swords um but here's the deal Taurus, we also have the two of pentacles and then overall energy for you in your pre-shuffle is the two of wands. Here's what I feel like is happening. You are kind of all up in your feelings right now, Taurus, but it's not a bad thing, okay? You're, take resp you're taking responsibility for them with this king of cups energy. And I have to say, for Taurus, that can be a pretty challenging thing. It's no, it, uh, speaking as a Tauren, in Western astrology, my sun sign is in Taurus, okay? Uh, and, t and keep in mind, I'm only 32, right? But over the course of my life, I realized how emotionally speaking, I was pretty emotionally immature. Not even gonna lie, okay? I'm just gonna throw that out there. And there are many other individuals who are Taurans, especially men, and especially in their younger adolescent stages, um, they're pretty emotionally immature. It, it, it's, it's possible. I mean, I'm speaking from experience, from my own experience and from the experience of others. Now that doesn't mean that uh, others that I've come in contact with, it doesn't mean that you're never gonna grow out of it. I mean, you're, it's entirely possible for you to grow out of it. And that's what I feel like is happening here. So this could be a situation which, in which Taurus, you might have been really emotionally immature or really not really trying to take responsibility for yourself, for your life, for your circumstances, for your emotions, for the things that you're, the, the emotional outbursts you may have put forth, whatnot, whatever, take it as it resonates. This is a general energy, uh, general reading. But now I feel like that has changed. And I feel like you're, you're, you're taking steps to cut things out, okay? With the Queen of Swords, you might be doing it a little harshly. It might be a little bit sudden, but ultimately, it does feel like it's needed here in order to bring balance into your life, Taurus. Okay, and to make a decision, and either you're making a decision, or maybe you've already made a decision as to what direction you are going in, and that's why you are now taking steps to cut some shit out and bring some balance into your life here. That's a really beautiful thing, Taurus. I'm not going to lie. That's a really beautiful thing. And I do want to reiterate that either some of you have already made a decision and that's why this is happening or this is happening because you need to make a decision because you need, you feel that you need to move in a different direction. You need to go to a different place altogether, physically probably, or even energetically, or, um, uh, you, you need to make a decision or, or I don't know. I don't, I forgot where the last part of I was going with that. But anyway, I think you guys get it, okay? All right, awesome. So I'm going to give this one shuffle here. Oh, let's give it two shuffles, okay. Oh, there you are with the Hierophant. That just caught my eye, okay. Hey there, Taurus. How you doing, boo boo? <laughs> oh, there you are again, okay. Um, and then here we go. Let's see what we've got for you, Taurus. Um, and there is a bunch of music going on outside. I apologize if that's distracting for you guys. I'm going to do the best to not get distracted myself. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Torrens, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of October 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Taurus, we're gonna give this five shuffles and then we'll see what we've got for you. For my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. That's one. Here we have two. For my Taurans, three. Four. And five. Form a Torrens, Sun, Moon, Rising, and a Venus. Boop. All right. Hold on. Let me mute. Let me mute this. Ooh. There we go. Okay. All right, Taurus. Overall energy. 
you got, oh, the Eight of Swords. Again, this still just feels like a past energy. I feel like you are breaking out of this mental entrapment, okay? There is something in your life that has been plaguing you for a while and you felt stuck, you felt trapped, but I, I, I just get this feeling that you are actively cutting yourself free here and that's beautiful and that's really what the message of the Eight of Swords is, okay? You, you Mental entrapment is not something anyone else keeps you in. You keep yourself in that mental entrapment by continuing to perpetuate whatever thoughts or beliefs that have put you there to begin with, yes? I feel like you're changing that, Taurus. Underneath the Eight of Swords, you got the, oh, you got the Seven of Swords. Oh, underneath that, wow. The Two of Swords with the Hierophant. Holy shit, y'all. Oh, Taurus, what's going on? Now, Taurus, this is you. Okay, this is you represented by the Hierophant here. I, honestly, I feel like you're recognizing some deception here. There is a really strong lesson I think you are in the process of learning right now, Taurus. Or maybe you have learned it. Like you learned it and now it's time to p pull yourself out of this. I feel like in the past you were in this indecisive energy with the two of swords but you were in this indecisive energy because you weren't able to really see clearly because there was all kinds of deception around you with the seven of swords which ultimately kept you in this state of entrapment eight of swords but i what i wanted what i just heard is but now you're seeing clearly this could have been Elements that were deceptive in terms of like the establishment, the patriarchy, some sort of established way of being, um, institution, uh, family norms, societal standards, I don't know, something like that. I feel like for some of you out there, I feel like there was a circumstance that was governed or, or um, ruled or controlled or manipulated by this hierophant energy which the hierophant represents um establishment uh university the patriarchy government military society uh, uh it also represents teaching and learning right so i feel like there was some sort of situation that was governed by this energy which was keeping you in some sort of deceptive energy that was helping you feel or keeping you in this sense of entrapment and without not being able to in all honesty, Two of Swords, not being able to decide for yourself. Mainly because you were being deceived, Seven of Swords. Or this could be vice versa. It's a general reading, so take what resonates. The Hierophant can also speak to marriage. Excuse me, I'm gonna cough. <clears throat> the Hierophant, yes, can also speak about a marriage, okay? I'm really curious. I want to. I really want to get. I mean, we're gonna obviously, but I really want to see what else is gonna come out here. So, let's get into the rest of your reading here. First half, second half of the reading. You could look at this as the first half and second half of your month. Take it how it resonates. Okay. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Taurus. You have the Nine of Cups. Oh my God, I love that. You're starting off with wish fulfillment. You're starting off with satisfaction, and I really what this really feels like, Taurus, is relief. Like. Fucking right, I can finally let my hair down or I can finally breathe or I can finally just relax because I'm out of this entrapment. Now, this could be current energy, okay? Because you have broken yourself out of this entrapment or it could be release that's coming. Nine of Cups is coupled with, yes, the Six of Wands. I told you, there it is right there. The Six of Wands is victory. The Six of Wands is overcoming an obstacle. Success. And honestly, what Spirit is kind of saying, what Spirit just said to me um, was to look at this, look at whatever you've experienced as a lesson learned, yes, but look at it as instead of holding resentment for it, say, you know what? I went through that, it sucked, but thank you so much for teaching me. 
Thank you so much for helping me see something differently. Thank you so much for pushing me to pull myself out of this situation. Because that's really what I feel like you're doing here. Okay? And this could be, it, this may, there may have been one recent circumstance or, or situation that has pulled, that has really gotten you to finally open your eyes, but I feel like there may have been multiple circumstances over the course of time, multiple times of going through this lesson and over and over and over again until you finally figured it out. You could finally see what was actually happening in front of you or around you, okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Taurus, you have Yes, judgment. All right, rising above. Waking up. Fucking right, Taurus. Waking up. Judgment is the awakening, is a wake-up call, is an ascension, is redemption, is a second chance, it's rising above, it's resurrection. Judgment is coupled with Ooh, the Knight of Swords. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Well, some of you in the. Hey, yikes. Yikes. Okay. Some of you in this judgment energy, in rising above and starting to see clearly, some of you might have some shit to say. Mm hmm. Some of you might be pretty influenced towards, I don't know, setting, setting the record straight. You might be feeling influenced to fight back, to be some sort of whistleblower. Go for it. If, if mm, take that with a grain of salt. I would check your motives there, Taurus. If it, is, if it really is necessary in beneficial not just for yourself but the highest good of all involved to be a sort of whistleblower then by all means go ahead and do it please make sure that you protect yourself but if you're trying to be a whistleblower just to get back at others for spiteful reasons i would refrain i would refrain because that really could come back and just bite you in the ass in the end and that's not what we want here we're rising above remember okay your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Taurus, you have, ooh, the Two of Cups. Uh, this feels like, this feels like you're aligning with someone. Excuse me. You may be in an energy of coming out of some sort of codependent situation with somebody whether it be energetic or physical. This is weird because I get this feeling that there's still a desire to align with this person or maybe the other person has a, still has a desire to align with you. And yet, that's not really possible right now because the energy, you're not resonant, you're, 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 you're dissonant. Your energies are dissonant from each other. Not har they're not harmonic. They are inharmonic. They are dissonant. They do not harmonize right now. I heard the, 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 the challenge I wanted to say, or what, what I heard was the challenge was to seek clarity on that, um, to understand how you two could harmonize. Is it even possible for you two to harmonize? This could be a romantic relationship, this could be a friendship, this could be a creative partnership, what, whatever. This could even be family. I don't know. Take it as it resonates, but that's what I'm getting with this Two of Cups. Two of Cups is coupled with the Hermit. Virgo. You could be aligning with a Virgo. You could be Virgo. Or you could have Virgo in your chart. Okay, so... So in terms of the challenge is to seek clarity on this misalignment, on this dissonance between you and another person, you're going to have to do some soul searching to figure out why. I'm not necessarily saying that it's your fault that you need to do something, Taurus, to fix it, but maybe it is. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. It could go back and f it could go either way. But you're going to need to do some soul searching to try and figure that out, to try and understand this.
Closing message or potential outcome. In the first half of your reading here, Taurus, you have, okay, temperance, Sagittarian energy, patience, but integrating, integration, union. Temperance is a bit of a, is a union card, is a card that represents some, some sort of union. Um, patience, sure, uh, but also bringing two opposing sides together. So what we were talking about here with this Two of Cups And as to why you two might, why you two may be dissonant to each other, well, here is the process of harmonizing, bringing it back and bringing you back, bringing yourselves or bringing yourself maybe back into alignment or balance. Okay. And you got to be patient with it though. Temperance is coupled with. Oh shit. There's that King of Cups again. Emotional maturity is key here. Responsibility. Being able to take responsibility for yourself and for your actions. Not for the actions of others, but for yourself. Maybe even, though, taking responsibility for the individuals you find, you find in your life. Taking responsibility for the heartbreaking circumstances that you've experienced. Not to say that you're a bad person for manifesting it, but maybe you manifested it for a reason and there is a lesson in that reason or at least there's something to be learned from it, right? But you would need to take responsibility for that. Taking responsibility is going to allow this integration process to go back to to be successful to go about uh, for us to go about this integration process the taking responsibility is going to allow these two opposing sides to harmonize or at least start to harmonize with each other so this could be you taurus or it could be someone else that you are uh connecting with aligning with um that would need to focus well no it's both of you it's both of you Straight up and down. Now, you, Taurus, might already be in that energy, or the other person that you're connecting with may already be in that energy. But either way, if you're going to have a successful relationship with somebody, both parties are going to need to be able to take responsibility for themselves, for their lives, for their actions. And no one is supposed, and, 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 and both parties need to be able to be self-sufficient and independent individuals in order for a relationship to really be successful outside of codependent means. Okay. Okay. You could also be connecting with a Scorpio, which ironically is the opposite sign of your, of you in the Zodiac. <laughs> okay, cool. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Taurus, first set of surrounding energies for you. We have Oh, the Ace of Cups. Isn't that sweet? Someone could be extending an offer of love to you. This could be you filling your cup. This could be you basking in your full cup of self-love. Sure. I would say so if you are in this energy of, uh, of breaking free. Breaking out of some sort of codependent situation, codependent relationship, or some sort of mental entrapment. Absolutely. <clears throat> Ace of Cups is coupled with, yeah, the Knight of Cups. Okay, this really could be someone coming forward to extend an offer to you. Mm. Or maybe you are going to be extending an offer to someone else. That's entirely possible. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Taurus, you have, oh, but then there's a, the five of swords. Honestly, I, this feels like something that you're working on overcoming. Again, this feels like it's something from the past. This five of swords energy, this lose-lose combativeness. One-upmanship, blah, blah, blah. Five of swords is coupled with, yep, there's the three of swords again. This is what needs to be overcome. This could entirely be why you and this other person, this soulmate, maybe your, your, your spouse, your husband, or your wife or whatnot, because we do have the Hierophant here, so we could be talking about a marriage. Um, 
this could be why you two are, are, are dissonant from each other now. Because of this combativeness, this five of swords energy, this lose-lose situation. And this definitely does feel like both parties have some responsibility to take here. Okay. Um, but that's what led to the heartbreak, the three of swords. That's what led to whatever it is you're working on overcoming. You're working on getting over. You're working on cutting out of your life. Now also, you now because the three of swords did come out in the pre-shuffle with the, king, the queen of swords and the king of cups. It could be the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups are two opposite, in, are two individuals, one masculine, one feminine. Potentially, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be one person. It, it either it's you who uh, is taking responsibility and cutting things out of your life, or it's the two of you. One represent, one represented by the King of Cups, one represented by the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords could be the, the individual, the Queen of Swords being the individual that's about to, that's about to make some serious cuts, like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like Queen of Swords person is not fucking around. King of Cups might still be in some sort of narcissistic, emotionally manipulative energy, but I feel like he, he or she is growing out of that, is coming to a realization. And the more the individual that is in this Queen of Swords energy pulls away and cuts things out of her life, his or her life, that are that are no longer serving them that are toxic in nature, the more this individual that's represented by the King of Cups might be waking up. But with all of that said, by the time they get to the point where they're actually really ready, ready and willing to take responsibility and say something, step up, do what, do something, whatnot, whatever, it might be too late. I don't know. You never know until you try, but who knows? Again, this is a general reading, guys, so take what resonates, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Taurus, you have the Four of Cups, unrequited love, missed opportunity, boredom, stagnancy, things. I kind of feel like uh, if, you are, if you are in a marriage or you're in a relationship of some, or some, of some sort or something like that, this is... This feels like the energy just of the relationship just going stagnant. I want to say going dry, the well running dry. The challenge is to overcome this, this stagnancy, this energy of, wow, I really just don't want to be a part of this any longer. Four of Cups is coupled with, oh, the sun. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I have to say what the sun is saying here, regardless, whatever the four of cups represents for you, if this is stagnancy, if the, if this is the well running dry in your relationship, if this is an unrequited love situation, the sun is saying that it absolutely happened for a reason and it was definitely necessary. And I would definitely agree with that because of the fact that it feels like somebody is pulling themselves out of some sort of stagnancy, some sort of unrequited love relationship, or some sort of mental prison and entrapment that in which they were stuck in because of deception. I would absolutely agree with the son here in saying this definitely had to happen. Okay. It's much better than you think. Illumination, understanding is also what the, the, the sun represents. Illumination in the terms of, you know, understanding what the truth of the situation is. Seeing clearer, have a clearer understanding of it. The... The closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Taurus. Okay. The Ten of Pentacles. And it's so funny because Aries got this same card in the same position. Lessons learned. Cycles complete. Ready to move and move on and graduate to the next thing. I just heard a big cycle of understanding has, has been achieved or a big, a big amount, a large amount, a substantial amount of understanding has been achieved here. And now somebody can move forward and move on to bigger, better and brighter things. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with 
the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So the Ten of Pentacles also represents longevity. Okay. Um, being in something for the long haul. Knight of Pentacles represents slow and steady wins the race energies. If the challenge is, it, 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 oh wait, I'm sorry, let me say this. If the desire is to reconcile, then it's going to be a slow and steady process. It's not something that's going to be rushed or achieved quickly or overnight. And that mainly feels like because there are betrayals, seven of swords, that need to be addressed here. And it's not like someone is just going to go right back into trusting you after you or you them after some bullshit has gone down. After this shit has gone down, five of swords, three of swords, seven of swords, hell nah, hell nah, and no, you crazy? I'm not just going to jump into trusting you again. Fuck out of here. Who do you think I am? Some naive child? Bitch, please. Girl, bye. Boy, bye. Like, no. That's just not going to happen. It's not like it's never going to happen, but you're going to have to prove it. You're going to have to show and prove. Or someone is going to have to show and prove, okay? It's going to take time. Now, whomever it is that's on the receiving end of this proving that someone else can be trusted, please do not take advantage of that, all right? Please do not make hell, life hell for this person or any more hellish than it is necessary or required. Please do not take advantage. That's not fair. It's not necessary, okay? But ultimately, someone's got to show and prove. All right, Taurus. Well, that sure was interesting. Let, let's get into your Oracle Guidance for the month of October. Or whenever this reading resonates for you. <coughs> Excuse me. For my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Here we go, guys. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading for Taurus. Best message, please. Ooh, there it is. Card number three. Sorceress. Rituals, power, will. It is time for you to act, to gather together your wisdom in an organized and structured manner and create a moment of power. This could mean a ritual to recognize the beginning of a new stage of, of, of the life cycle. Similarly, it could mean setting up an important meeting, ensuring you are correctly prepared and giving your very best thorough, your very best throughout the opportunity before you. Gather together your energy Plan your strategy and set your goals. Choose your time and choose your tools and meet with all the power you can gather. Before this meeting, whisper to yourself of your goals and your powers. Be sure to fill yourself up with strength and conviction. Raise your head high, strengthen your back, set your shoulders, and do not allow any doubt to creep in at this time. Do your homework, be very prepared, and then when the moment comes, let all this energy and power and self-belief flow out in a very smooth manner. This will help you through a job interview, a case that needs to be made, a gathering together allies and others who believe in you. It will also counteract any kind of self-doubt, negativity, or jealousy that may have been imped impeding your progress until this point. Every ritual of self-empowerment will be divinely blessed at this time. You must work at bringing back your own power, at harnessing your strong and potent will, which has, until this time, been neglected and underestimated. You are a being of power and commitment. 
let us see what you can do when you believe in yourself at last. So there you have it, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that said, I hope you guys have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of November. Y'all, yeah? take care. Bye.